Thank you. 
There's a nice verse in the book called the Ishopanishad. The Sri Ishopanishad. Sri Lu Prabhupada translated and commented. So the Sri Ishopanishad, the first verse instructs us. About establishing what is called the Ishyavasha society. Ishyavasha society means a society with God, uh, with Krishna in the center. So you are all chanting Hare Krishna. You are already devotee. Right? So devotees are all part of Krishna's family. Krishna is the father of Krishna all living yes. entities. But he has a special relationship with his devotees. Right? Devotees, well, the devotees are very dear to Krishna. 
because the devotees are chanting Hare Krishna, because they're trying to become Krishna conscious, so so Krishna cares about devotees. Krishna wants to return the service because you're doing service for Krishna. Krishna wants to serve the devotees. Your service to Krishna is First of all, by chanting Hare Krishna mantra. Mm -hmm. Now some people are chanting, maybe, maybe, is everybody chanting 16 rounds? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 16. Mm -hmm. So every, you're chanting every day for, for Krishna and because you're also uh, working for Krishna. And so Krishna recognizes that you're doing service for him. But that service is part of surrender to Krishna. And because we surrender to Krishna, Krishna wants to also repay the service. There's, you can see how Krishna reciprocates with devotee. Just like there was one devotee of Krishna named Sudama. So he wanted, his wife wanted him to go to see Krishna in Dwarka. But Sudama thought, I don't have anything to take, to give him. So his wife arranged, she managed to get some pieces of rice from a neighbor. But this rice, this was not very good rice. It was very hard, very dry, old rice. But they had nothing. They had nothing else to give to Krishna. And Sudama did not want to beg. But his wife managed to get this rice from the neighbor. And so he put it in the cloth and tied it up. And then he went to Dwarka. And when he came to see Krishna, Krishna remembered Sudama, how they had been friends when they were in the, when they had gone to school. They had gone to the, the school, which was the, the teacher was uh, Sandipani Muni. And Krishna and Sudama, they had been friends together in the school. So when Krishna saw Sudama coming, then he was very happy. He welcomed Sudama into his home. Krishna this time had gone to live in Dwarka and he had married. Krishna had many wives. And he had a palace for each wife. So somehow Sudama found Krishna in the, inside the palace with one of his wives. So then, when Krishna saw Sudama, then Krishna, because the Bra Sudama is a Brahmana, and Krishna likes the Brahmanas very much. The cows and the Brahmanas. 
there's Krishna takes he has a special love because when he was a, a boy in Vrindavan he was taking care of many cows so he loves the cows and he loves also the brahmanas because the brahmanas always follow the Vedic culture so, so Sudama was a very special Brahmana. Because he had been to school with Krishna, they had played together. And Krishna reminded Sudama, do you remember when we were at school, when we were in the Sandipani Muni Ashram, one day we had gone into the forest to collect wood. Because in the ashram they, they would do yagya every day. And they would need to have the wood for the yagya. And so they would go in the forest and they could collect the wood, dry wood. Yeah. But when they were in the forest this one day, Krishna and Sudama, one day suddenly became very dark and heavy rain. It was a big storm. And they could not find their way home. They had to spend the whole night in the forest. And you know, in the forest, the whole night is very cold. And there are many wild animals. So you hear many sounds. Very, you feel very afraid. So Krishna and Sudama, they were young boys. They were lost in the forest the whole night. And then the next morning, the teacher came with all the boys from the school. Because they knew Krishna and Sudama, they did not come home last night. So they went to look for them. Where are they? they must, they're lost in the forest. So after some time, then the teacher came and all the boys and they found Sudama and Krishna and brought them home. At that time, the teacher Sudama, Sandipani Muni, he blessed Krishna and Sudama. He blessed them that because you have you have sac you have taken the risk, you have taken so much danger just to serve me. So he gave he gave a blessing. He blessed them that whatever they learn in the school they will never forget. So Krishna was reminding Sudama about their friendship. And how they had this pastime together. So then Krishna asked Sudama, You must have you have come to visit me. You must have brought something for me. But Sudama saw that Krishna is in the palace. It's very opulent. And Sudama only has some dry rice. So he feels ashamed. He does not like to give Krishna this rice. But Krishna <coughs> knows he's a super soul in the heart and he knows everything 
So he knows Sudama has some right. So Krishna said, I know you must have brought something for me. He does not, but then Krishna finds, oh, what is this? Oh, Sudama, you brought this for me. And he, Krishna took one, some pieces. Of and because Krishna took this rice, he accepted the rice from Sudama. So he, he returned. He, he thinks, Sudama, he has given, he had nothing to give, but he took, he brought something from someone else. So he has given everything. So Krishna thought, I should also give him everything. So when Sudama went home, then his home became a palace. Before he was living in poverty. But when he, after going to Dwarka, when he returned home, he saw his everything had become opulent. And his wife, before she was very thin and weak, but now he saw that she had become very healthy. And they had servants also in, the fa in their home. And there was no scarcity, everything was there. So this was all possible because of Krishna wanting to repay Sudama. Because Sudama gave everything for Krishna, Krishna wanted to, to give everything to Sudama. So, so Krishna promises to, re to return that whatever devotee offers to him, Krishna will uh, he, he, Krishna wants to see, let me see here, um, Krishna does not need our offerings, first of all. He is not hungry, he is not in need of us to offer flowers and fruits. Krishna has many, many ladies, goddesses of fortune who all serve him. In the spiritual world, there are many Lakshmis or goddesses of fortune. And they're all serving Krishna. So Krishna doesn't need our service. He's not greedy to Он get нежад... our offering. Uh, but he wants our love. Mm -hmm. love. The, we all have the a bit, we all like to love someone, something. People love their dog. People love their country. Right? We, of course, we love family. People love their car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have love. We give love to many material things. We want to learn to love Krishna. This is... Uh, loving Krishna does not... It doesn't. It does not deprive anyone of love. It, everyone, it, someone may say, "Oh, why love Krishna? You should love me." That's not true. Because if we love Krishna, then we love everyone. But if we only love some one or two people, 
then our love is limited. But when we give love to Krishna, then we love everyone. Because everyone is also part of Krishna. So Krishna consciousness is understanding our relationship with Krishna. And working together as devotees, as a community of devotees, we want to work together to help each other to progress in Krishna consciousness. И работая вместе как община община в сознании Кришны, мы мы хотим помочь каждому работать вместе, чтобы стать служить в сознании Кришны, быть в сознании Кришны. No, we try to be devotee. If we try to be devotee alone without the association of devotees, then it's very difficult. Если мы хотим быть в сознании Кришны одном одни без общения с преданными, это очень сложно. It's not easy to practice Krishna consciousness on our own. Сложно практиковать сознание Кришны одному. We can read the book. Мы можем читать книги. We can chant. Мы можем повторять мантру. We can do the worship. Мы можем поклоняться. But it's not quite. It's not the same if you're alone. If you don't have association. Some people they they don't like to come to associate with devotees. They say, oh, no, I'll be devotee. I'm at home. I'm reading. I'm chanting. I'm doing everything alone." Of course, they are also devotees. But we, when we work together with other devotees and associate with other devotees, then we can make more progress. <coughs> because in the association of devotees, then we can discuss more the topic of Krishna. We can have more kirtan in the association of devotees. We cannot really do kirtan alone. We can chant. But on your own it's a different. So it's important for us to value the association of devotees. And if when we value the association of devotees, then we also encourage each and every person in Krishna consciousness by sharing the topics of Krishna. Right. Association is for discussing in the nectar of instruction, Rupa Goswami describes relationships between devotees. He describes there are relationships between people. First of all, said anyone who chants the holy name one time, he is a devotee. Because they chanted, they began chanting, so we respect them as a devotee. <coughs> Someone else has taken initiation and they're worshipping the deity. So that person should be offered obeisances. And someone else is fixed in undeviating devotional service and never criticizes others. So that person should be associated, we should associate and hear from them with great faith. 
большой верой. So there are different levels of devotees. But among devotees, there is special exchange. Just like when we come together, we will often offer prasada and accept prasada. Generally, we come to the Krishna conscious center, there will be some prasada. People often come and say, is there any prasad? Right. And we take pleasure to give whatever prasadam. So even Srila Prabhupada, when he first went to America, he would have one apple and he would cut one apple into pieces, give everyone a piece of apple. When Prabhupada was coming to America on the boat, it came to the time of Janmastami, Krishna's birthday. So Krishna's birthday, Janmastami, Generally, devotee likes to have a festival. And during the festival, we will also give prasad. So Prabhupada was on the boat crossing the ocean. But Prabhupada cooked prasad. And he served it to all the people on the boat. He told them, today is Krishna's birthday, you please take prasad. This is loving relationship. Right? So, devotees also, they, they distribute prasad and they also accept prasad. And the devotees also they sometimes they give some gifts and they accept some gifts. Sometimes when devotees went to India, when they came to India, sometimes they would do Harinam Sankirtan in the street. So sometimes people would come and they would want to give something. Maybe they would give sometimes flower garland. So some devotees sometimes say, no, 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 I don't want. Maybe some devotee may say, but Prabhupada said, no, you have to accept. You wear for some time, and then you give it to someone else. <laughs> so like this is loving exchange. And then another loving exchange is inquiring confidentially and revealing your mind in common. Just like we may read sometimes the book, we may read Bhagavad Gita, there may be something we read in the Bhagavad Gita that, oh, is this right? I wonder, I don't understand what is being said. So we may question another devotee that Krishna said like this in Bhagavad Gita, what does it mean? Krishna said, surrender to me. What does it mean, surrender? Krishna говорит. So, someone may say, well, surrender means you have to chant Hare Krishna. And someone else may say, no, surrender just means be a vegetarian. And someone else may be 
So they surrender me to should read the Bhagavad Gita. Другой может ответить, что предаться мне означает читать Бхагавад Гиту. Although different people will have different suggestions, what is the understanding? У разных людей будут разные мнения, если с их пониманием. How to surrender? What do I need to do to surrender? Как предаться? Что мне делать, чтобы предаться? Does surrender mean I have to be initiated? Значит это, что я должен получить инициацию? There are many questions people will have about Krishna consciousness. Well, sometimes new devotee, they don't have many questions. But the longer we are a devotee, then the more questions we have. <laughs> There are more things, more and more things to understand. So it's important for us to associate with devotees. Prabhupada writes in one purport in Srimad Bhagavatam, he says that reading the books is very good. Read, to read the book. But more important than reading the book, better than reading the book, is to discuss the books with the other devotees. If we discuss and try to explain the meaning, that is better than just reading. Because sometimes people read the book and then they don't understand. They just read, they read. What does it mean? I don't know. So it's important to associate with the devotees. And when we associate together, then we can discuss about Krishna consciousness. So it's nice to be part of a family of Krishna's devotees. We need to feel a sense of identity, a sense of belonging to something. You know, just like a dog, if, if a dog has no master, then it is just a street dog. Right? Nobody care nobody cares for it. It's very unfortunate. But when we have a master, when the dog has a master, then the dog is very happy, very proud. So the same way when we accept Krishna as the master, then we also we feel very fortunate, very safe. So we take shelter of Krishna. Shelter, just like when there's a storm, when there's heavy wind and rain, we may have to shelter. We find somewhere to protect us from the from the wind and from the rain, from the snow. So the material world is sometimes a very stormy place. There, there, there are many difficulties, many troubles in the material world. For everyone, everywhere. But when we take shelter of Krishna, then we have some protection. So when we come to Krishna, we should feel like we have come, we have come home. Just like when we are wandering, you may be wandering in the, in the desert, or in, in somewhere you're wandering in Russia, you're going from town to town, place to place, you cannot find any place, permanent place. 
Например, когда вы бродите по пустыне или где-то бродите по городу, и в России, из города в город, вы не можете нигде найти себе место. Но когда мы приходим к Кришне, нам следует чувствовать себя, мы чувствуем, что мы пришли домой. Это мой дом, это то, это место, к чему я принадлежу, я хочу остаться здесь. I want to be with the я хочу быть преданным. The, there was a, one man in India called Chanakya Pandit. He was a, a famous advisor to one of the kings of India. Uh, в Индии uh, жил когда-то Чанакья Пандит. Он был совет, советником одного из королей. So he gave many more, many good instructions. Он давал очень хорошее наставление. He said, never go to that place where there is no river. Он говорил, никогда не туда, в то место, где нет реки. River is very important because in the river you can bathe, you can keep clean. Река очень важна, потому что в реке ты можешь искупаться, ты можешь очиститься в реке. In India you see, when you go to India, you see it beside the Ganga, Many people live. Uh, it's a Ganges river. They will live near the river because then they can always go to the river, they can bathe, they can wash, they они, can clean. Because they don't have so much running water, they don't have apartment with house with water. So I said, Chanakya said, don't go to that place where if there's no river. I said, I said, don't go to that place where you have no friend. Yeah, if you have a friend, then it's very nice to go there to be with your friend. But if you have no friend, then you know, people are not nice, nobody knows you. Но если у вас нет друзей, люди как неприветливы, они вас не знают. So very difficult. Это очень сложно. You can feel very lonely. Вы чувствуете себя одиноким. And he says, do not go to that place where there is no temple. И не, и как же он говорит, не не ходи туда, где нет дворца. So the temple is very important because where, where there is a temple, then there will be association of devotees. And in the association of devotee, there will be discussion of the topics of Krishna. So this is the purpose of the Krishna consciousness movement. Prabhupada said, just like the people who may be all doing business, they will make some association. Даже как люди, Парупада говорит, такие люди, которые есть бизнес, у них есть общение. And there will be an association for all the people who are lawyers. И они общаются с людьми, которые являются адвокатами. They're, they will make their own group of people. У них образуются такие группы людей. And then, then teachers, they may have also their association. У учителей также свои группы общения. But Krishna consciousness, we have association for devotees. The devotees can come together to be with each other. And there are many ways in which we can be together. Just like you, now everybody keep the mobile phone. And so we make we make a group. Right? You have a group here. Yeah. And we associate with each other. And we tell what is to oh, tomorrow's ecology or tomorrow's a festival. No, we will say if men this association is easily available. Some groups 
they even associate they will wake each other up in the morning some in Singapore the devotees they will give the call in the morning they will say it's already five o'clock are you up yet <laughs> have you chanted yet <laughs> This way they will help each other to be Krishna conscious. <coughs> and sometimes devotee may get sick. So then they need also association, they need help. They need to be encouraged. So association is very, very important. Prabhupada said our advancement in Krishna consciousness depends on our association. So if, you, if we don't associate with anybody, then how, how to make advancement? Very difficult. We give the example one stick easily broken. But many stick together, very hard to break. So is this is why association. If we are associ if we associate together, we cannot be broken. So we say united we stand, divided we fall. So this is a very important that we try to all stay together as an, a society to help work together. Sometimes association is difficult. Because this is Kali Yuga. So sometimes we quarrel. Sometimes we argue with each other. We allow Kali to come into. So we, we have to be very careful to keep Kali out. Kali Yuga means age of quarrel. But Kali Yuga is not for devotees. Devotees should not quarrel. We need two people to quarrel. So somebody wants to quarrel, we don't, we say, no, I'm not going to quarrel. We have to be humble. We have to say, please accept my humble obeisances. Very important for devotees when we meet that we all offer obeisances. Even you make the telephone call to someone, hello, is this Bhakta Das, is this Krishna Das? This is Balaram Das, please accept my humble obeisances. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So, yeah. when we meet together, Prabhu, please accept my humble obeisances. Prabhupada taught us, he said, this will help us not to quarrel. Very important. One girl, she got married, and she went to live with her in her husband's parents' house. Joint family. You know, India. India. So she's living in the husband's house. But difficult to get along with the husband's mother. You know, mother-in-law, daughter-in-law. <laughs> Very difficult. <laughs> what to do? 
you have to touch the feet. Please accept my humble obeisance. Very important to be humble. So association of devotees sometimes is very difficult. Prabhupada said, just like when you make chutney, you know chutney? Do you know chutney? What's chutney? Chutney is a special sauce. Rice. 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 Sometimes uh, berry, strawberry fruit chutney. So it will be, it should be very sweet. It should be very hot. <laughs> you know, they put the spice. Put the chili. So very hot. But very sweet. So mm -hmm. Prabhupada, chutney should be so hot you can oh cannot stand it. Oh, so hot. <laughs> but so sweet you can oh, <laughs> oh I want but so hot. <laughs> so Prabhupada said association with devotee is like that. И Прабхупада говорит, что общение с преданным это что-то вот наподобие этого. Very hot. Очень жгёт. Очень сладкое. Очень сладкое. We have to tolerate. Мы должны быть толерантными. So very important. Nobody should feel that no, I don't want association. Никто не должен чувствовать так, что нет, я не хочу общаться. We should feel I want associate. I need associate. Okay. Any question? Скажите, пожалуйста, как воспевание святых имен на четках влияет на наши отношения с Кришной? The question is how the chanting on beats reflects on the relationship with Krishna. Well, the chanting on the beads, we are chanting Krishna's name and Krishna is not different from his name. To come to the advanced level of Krishna consciousness, we have to know that Krishna and his name are the same. One devotee was giving lecture one day, but Prabhupada was listening. The devotee said, Krishna is in his name. Prabhupada said, no, Krishna is his name. И однажды преданный давал лекцию в храме, и Прабхупада слушал лекцию, и преданный сказал, Кришна а, в своем имени, и отправляется в своем имени. Прабхупада встал и сказал, нет, Кришна это и есть, а, имя и есть Кришна. So we have to chant Krishna's name with genuine feeling, with love. И а, мы должны повторять именно Кришны с очень теплым чувством, с любовью. If we chant Hari Snick, Hari Ram, Hari Snick, 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 Snick. You know, then we have a relationship with snake, snake. You don't have a relationship with Krishna. So it's important for us to check Krishna's name nicely. Mm. The chanting of Hare Krishna is the process by which we can go back to Godhead in the Kali Yuga. There's no other way in the Kali Yuga, only by chanting the holy name. 
пути, только кроме как повторения эксперимента. So it's our most important activity. Это наша самая главная задача и деятельность. So we have to do the chanting very carefully. Поэтому повторять нужно очень внимательно. And it means we have to chant with with feeling, with love. Поэтому это означает, что мы должны повторять с чувствами, с любовью. Just like someone may say, hey, umapati. Это как, например, кто-то может сказать, эй, умапати. And someone will say, oh, umapati. А кто-то может сказать, о, умапати. They say it in a very nice way. Очень нежно произносит имя. Yeah. So the, we can say the name with love, we can say the name without love. Мы можем произнести имя с любовью, мы можем произнести без любви. You know, when the policeman comes, oh, Mr. Umapati, huh? Yeah? Когда полицейский, например, подходит, то говорит, а, Товарищ Мапати. Policeman doesn't have any love for you. Policeman just says, pay me money. So there's there when we call to Krishna, we have to take Krishna's name with feeling. We want to feel some love for Krishna. Love. Krishna is there. Krishna is in our heart. He's in everyone's heart. Krishna is there. He's in the heart of everyone. And so when we, de- when we develop some love for Krishna, then we will have also love for everyone else. And so the chanting is very, very important. And we have to chant from the heart. Sometimes when they do kirtan, they will say, chant from the heart, from the heart. Mm-hmm. So when we do japa also, we have to chant from the heart. Not just from the mouth. Not just only lip exercise. Ну просто хорошо, я вот старался внимательно слушать. Ну, и там говорили, что одни думают, что Кришне предаст, значит, там читает книги, а вот конкретно что именуется, что предаться, что подразумевается предаться Кришне. Uh, some, someone may ask the question, that what is the surrender to Krishna? What does it mean? And someone can answer that surrender to means uh, to read books. Surrender means to be a vegetarian. Different answers. So what does it mean? What does mean? What does the phrase surrender mean? Well, in Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada explains <coughs> some uh, six items of surrender. И в Прагазгите Прабхупада дает нам шесть пунктов предания, что значит предаться. First of all, we should think only Krishna can protect. Первое, прежде всего, мы должны думать, что только Кришна может защитить меня. The, the security guard cannot protect me. Охрана не сможет меня защитить. The government cannot protect me. Правительство не сможет меня защитить. Mother and father cannot protect <coughs> me. <coughs> Only Krishna can protect me. <coughs> then second thing is we think only Krishna can maintain us. We are thinking, no, I'm working, I'm maintaining because I work hard. But without the grace of Krishna, we cannot maintain. And then, we should only accept whatever is favorable for devotional service. Favorable for devotional service means hearing, chanting, associating with devotees. And we should give up whatever is not favorable for devotion. Yeah, means all 
meat, intoxication, gambling, illicit give up these things and then we should have no desire except Krishna's desire and then we should always be humble surrender take shelter of Krishna so these are items of surrender we have to cultivate these things. 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 We have of the surrender to Krishna, of the surrender, following the Krishna instructions. Yes. Da. But there are many instructions. We see, for example, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is explaining Bhagavad Gita on different levels. Now Krishna describes how to practice Astanga Yoga. Krishna описывает, как практиковать Astanga Yoga. Sit on a deer skin. Uh, sit and meditate. Go alone. To a holy place. Sit and sit and meditate. So that's Krishna, one of Krishna's instructions. But that's not relevant for us. So you have to know what are the in instructions which are important for us. So we are more concerned, we want to follow Krishna's instructions about bhakti yoga. So you have to be able to understand which instructions we want to follow. Well, Krishna is instructing many different people different ways. So we have to recognize what, what is the instruction for us. How can we understand that? With the help of the spiritual teacher. Okay. We hear from the spiritual teacher. Hare Krishna, дорогой Гуру Махарадж. Скажите, пожалуйста, вот дополнение как бы к вопросу Мапати Прабу. Кришна и есть святое имя. Тогда почему во время инициации мы даем обеты ежедневно не менее 16 кругов вычитывать Махамантры именно на четках? Раз Кришна и есть имя, то почему нельзя пользоваться, допустим, и можно ли пользоваться счетчиком? As an additional question to the question which it have, has asked Mabati Prabhu, I'd like to, I want to ask you, uh, why during the initi initiation, we, if Krishna is his name, why do during the initiation we give the, um, we say that we, we will uh, chant the names Hare Krishna on our beats and uh, not the less than 16 rounds if why don't we um, why cannot we just chant it without beats and what is the role of the beats in chanting and how is it important yeah well you see in, in chanting the holy name we have to use all of the senses in the service of Krishna. So we have the sense of touch. So we use the, the, the beads, we touch the beads. And this way 
we also can keep account of how many times we chant. И также мы можем считать, сколько раз мы вычитали. Because we have to know how many times we chant. Потому что нужно знать, сколько мы вычитали. Because you have to chant the same the regular amount, minimum amount every day. Потому что нам нужно вычитывать минимальное количество каждый день. So the beads help us to keep the count. И часто помогают нам And the beat is made from Tulsi wood. And Tulsi is a devotee of Krishna. So when we touch the wood of Tulsi, then it engages our sense in the service of Krishna. So all you see also Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, They all have the beads. They are chanting on the beads. Lord Chaitanya also chanted on the beads. All the great devotees, Prabhupada also, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, they all chant for the beads. This is the system how to how to count and how to absorb the mind. And these beads, each bead, they represent one gopi. There are one hundred and eight gopis. Hmm? There are also one hundred and eight books from the Vedas. So these beads, so each bead represents a gopi or represents one of the books of the Vedas. In Buddhism, they also chant on the beat. They also have 108 beats. But their 108 beats represent 108 different kinds of suffering. Different from our beads. Can you tell me what does the word blessing mean and how does it work? Oh, well, what is, what is a blessing? Blessings means to bestow your best wishes on another person to give. To give, uh, you know, to give some good wishes to some. Благословение это означает пролить все свои хорошие желания, точно это desire, wish, волю свою благоприятную на другого человека. Generally, people like sannyasi or brahmanas or even devotees, people may come to you and they will say. Please give me blessing. Uh, or Brahmana Brahma. and devotees. Can, can ask our blessing? Yeah. They'll Inna, come and ask you, give me blessing. Are you ready? To give blessing? Yeah. So, how to bless someone? Lord Chaitanya taught, we will bless you. I bless you that you will always be in Krishna conscious. That your mind will remember Krishna. That is the blessing which devotee gives. May you always remember Krishna. Do you want that blessing? Yes. yes. <laughs> no, you're supposed to give the blessing. <laughs> so we bless. The, the devotee wants to give spiritual blessing. You know, material life, people want, they have problems and they come with material problems. One time Prabhupada was traveling in India. So he was in the train. 
And some men they came, they wanted to see Prabhupada. And so the, these two men they came and to see Prabhupada and so Prabhupada said, What do you want? And they said, Swamiji, please we want your blessings. So Prabhupada said to them, What blessing do you want? So the one man said, Oh, I have a problem with my back. Can you cure my back? And the other man said, Oh, I have a problem. I cannot get my daughter married. Can you bless me to get a husband for my daughter? Prabhupada said, no, I will give you another blessing. I bless you that you will become devotee of That you will become like this brahmachari. We don't want that blessing. But devotee, we will bless people to always be in Krishna, to remember Krishna. Mm, we want to give spiritual blessings, mm -hmm. not, not material blessings. Understand? Mm. How, well? How does it work? How does this blessing work? For example, if someone gives you blessing, someone gives you blessing, what happens next? <laughs> well, if devotee says, because devotee is dear to Krishna, So because the devotee sa says, you know, all right, may you always be a devotee. Of, so then because the devotee is dear to Krishna, then Krishna will keep the word of the devotee. Just like in the battle of Kurukshetra. Bhishma vowed. He said, tomorrow I'm going to kill Arjuna, or else Krishna will break his promise. Oh. Bishma. He said, Bishma. I'm going to kill Arjuna. Or if I don't kill Arjuna, Krishna will have to break his promise. Because Krishna promised, I won't fight. Krishna ah. promised, I won't fight. Ah. Krishna Krishna said, I won't fight. But Bhishma said, tomorrow I'm going to kill Arjuna. But if Krishna breaks his promise, then I won't be able to kill him. And so Bhishma, next day, Bhishma was going to kill Arjuna. Ar Arjuna's chariot broke. And he was in trouble. And Bhishma came, he's ready to kill Arjuna. But, but Krishna picked up the wheel from the chariot and he ran towards Bhishma. And then Bhishma said, okay. <laughs> because Krishna broke his promise. So Krishna, why did Krishna take it, break his promise? Because he wanted Bhishma to keep his promise. Because Bhishma is his devotee. So if devotee gives a blessing, then Krishna may fulfill. Krishna will take care. What blessing? Always remember Krishna. 
We don't want to give any other blessing. Any other question? допустим, что в приоритете ставить? Вот, э, ну, да, домашняя обстановка, допустим, да, ты когда просыпаешься, это либо читать мантру, либо открывать алтарь и служить Господу, вот, либо заниматься, допустим, срочными домашними делами. Well, that's also a household duty. That's a household duty. But you have to also worship the deity. You have to have some regulation. You should worship deity same time every day. Right? Try to be regulated. So you regulate the time. Sometimes you have to do household duties before you can do this. You have to consider every on the time and the circumstances. But generally it should be regulation. At a certain time every day try to do the RT. Try to do operation. Try to make regulation. Just like in the temple, every day there's a time when they make the arti, when they make the offering. So you have deity at home. So if you don't don't give them breakfast, then Gorni Tai they think, oh. <laughs> In the, she's not giving us any breakfast today. <laughs> We're going hungry. <laughs> she's chanting. <laughs> no breakfast. <laughs> but Gornitai, they're very merciful. <laughs> but if you're chanting for them, Then they're happy. They like kirtan. So you can do also kirtan. That's also deity worship. But try to be regular. Household life is very difficult sometimes. <laughs> it's not the temple. So hard to be regular. Вы упоминали о трех категориях преданных, которых говорит Рупага с вами, как учиться различать правильные категории этих преданных и потому что а, зачастую преданный, который более низкого уровня, конечно, Китай, он не способен увидеть как-то ну, уровень более возвышенный. И как учиться этому делать? Ну, как, как это правильно делать? 
So how can we learn to d divide them, to divide the category? How can we learn to realize on which level the devotee is? Well, the symptoms are there, the character, the characteristics, the behavior. But generally, we offer our respects to all the devotees. Kanista devotee can also be pure devotee. It's not that only Madhyam is pure devotee. Kanista can also be pure devotee. Can also be spiritual master. And somebody who is Uttama, who is on the highest level, he may come down to the intermediate level for uh, preaching. <coughs> Prabhupada was on the highest level. <coughs> but he came down to inter mad Madhyama level to preach. And so yeah, there are different levels of the of Krishna consciousness. Generally, we all want to come to the Madhyama level. Because that is where we preach Krishna consciousness. We worship the Lord. We associate with devotees. And we give mercy to the innocent. People who don't, who are just curious, who don't know anything. Who don't know anything. And we avoid the people who are atheistic and blasphemy. So, these descriptions of different levels of devotees are there. So, so we're, in, we're encouraged to try to cultivate the higher levels of devotion. It's, it's also mentioned that if one is initiated by somebody who's in the lower level, then it means we cannot advance to the higher level. So one who is initiated, they, should, they want to elect the spiritual master who is more on the higher level. But uh, we don't want to make a, we don't want to be judging other people. We want to look at our own devotion. Try to understand what we can do to improve. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we don't label some old, oh, the, the, he's Kanista Adhikari, he's Madhyama, he's Uttama. You know, that it's, it's very foolish to claim that somebody is Uttama, if somebody claims I am Uttama, you know, that's but we want, we just want to understand that there are these different levels. And it's based on one's knowledge of the scriptures. And one's also faith in the Krishna conscious process. So those two things are very Mm -hmm. I've got two questions. Okay. okay. The last.
Первое. Люди совершенно не интересуются преданным служением. То есть, как бы, очень много людей занимаются чувственными утверждениями. И нам весьма трудновато, как бы, предложить, вот, ну, то есть, сумлечь, как вот улучшить вот эту вот проповедь, вдохновить, да, и привлечь. Не, не среди преданных. Вообще, люди, нам... не занимающиеся преданным Они им не интересны. Да. Мы им предлагаем, им это неинтересно, как вот их заинтересовать, mm -hmm. то есть этот способ. Well, every devotee is thinking about this, this, how to attract the people. That's why we have festivals. That's why we also distribute books. And we also give prasadam. This the, the distribution of the mercy. And we have to see who is interested. You have to cut, try to cultivate friendship with people. Very important to be able to make friends. And then uh, when you make friendship with people, then it's much easier to bring them into Krishna. So making enemies is easy. <laughs> you know, the neighbors, they could get very angry. Make a lot of noise all the time. Curtain, mm, boom, 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 boom. Neighbors don't like. Sometimes the neighbor, they don't like the, 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 the smell, the spices. Sometimes the incense, they complain. Burn incense. Двоякая вещь, Махарадж, тут с одной стороны стоит противоречие, мы не должны общаться с кормей, вот, и стараться не общаться, и с другой стороны мы должны развивать дружеские отношения, чтобы привлечь тут вот, вот у меня как бы конфликт тоже с этим. Uh, we cannot associate, we don't have to, we are not, we shouldn't communicate with Karmi. And from the other hand, we have to make, we need to uh, be friendly with them. How, to, how can we put these things together? Yes, that's right. That's the final. We want, we try to, we want to give association. We want to give association. We don't associate with Karmis on their level. We don't associate with Karmis on their level. Right, their level. What is their level? Drinking, smoking, gambling. Нет, это относится к дружбе. Я им даю просад, они принимают на вкус, они не говорят, о, мое блюдо попробуй. Попробуй мое блюдо, я ему говорю, нет, нет. Как так? Мы должны... Да, So friendship is, you, it, you have to know how, who to make friends with. Some people will be more likely, more, you know, sometimes we give the book, let them see the book. See if they are interested. Some people are more pious, some people have, a, if they are a little more pious, something easier for them to become the book. Если они более благочестивы, те для тех, кто более благочестивы, для у кого больше благочестия, для тех легче привлечься этим движением, понять. 
sometimes you have to try to qualify them for give them more chance to do service for Krishna. Get them to do some Agyata Sukriti. Agyata Sukriti. Agyata means they didn't know that they're serving Krishna. You ask them. We want donation. I'm do we're having festival. You give donation. <laughs> it, it will be good for you. It will bring you good luck. Не проблем. Это не проблем. We know it's very difficult. То есть тут нужно иметь то, как я понял. Ну, как бы выработать у себя такую как бы ну, чувство такого да кто Well, Krishna will speak from the heart sometimes. Krishna may direct you that you know, you know, this person might make a devotee. Sometimes. But no. it's all to, depends on your kindness. How much mercy you're willing to give. <laughs> How much tolerance you're willing to Just like when we go for book distribution, we don't know who will take the book. But we offer everybody. <laughs> so you try. You, you never know who can be the book. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes maybe somebody is suffering very, oh, so miserable, unhappy. So then maybe you talk to them and tell them that, you know, you need to, you can change your life. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Narada Muni had many different ways to preach to people. Uh-huh. You can read yes. Srimad Bhagavatam. And yes. Srimad Bhagavatam, Narada Muni, okay. how he preaches. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes uh, there are difficult situations and we don't know how to deal with it. And when we chant, uh, when you repeat in the holy names, uh, you finally get the solution, the solution of the problem. Is it our mind or is it from the heart, from Krishna? Yeah, it may come from the heart. From Krishna. Krishna can certainly help. Krishna must come. How can we understand? If it's a Krishna conscious solution, then it must come from Krishna. So on on the fifteenth of August we have a big uh, it's a big day. We've got we'll um we'll have Yagya. Oh. And here are two devotees which have already got initiation. Mm-hmm. And and one who is going to uh, get initiation. 
Можно вам представить? Can you read it? Вот Матуджи Лена. То есть она одобрена региональным секретарем и также здесь советом Ятры на инициацию к вам. То есть она уже целый год повторяет пранам мантру. She wants to be the initiation from the during the past year she is She has been she has been chanting Panama Mantra, mm -hmm. and she was qualified to get initiation mm -hmm. by the uh, regional service. She was qualified. She was allowed to get the initiation by the uh, regional service. What by Sri Vigraha? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. We, uh, можем мы передать четкие 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 yes. Uh, can we uh, give you her beats? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Her name? Her name? Okay. 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 Там очень интересная история. Меданга пит, да? Меданга. Like Меданга. Как Меданга. Скажите, пожалуйста, что можете сказать. Да, что Матаджи, мы с ней готовились. Из Индии? Из Индии? Да. Вау. Very good beats. Очень хороший чувство. Это другого, четкие. For your life. Whole life, да? За всю жизнь. За всю жизнь. Don't lose them. Не потеряйте их. Very nice. Очень хорошая. Скорее всего, нитка. Нитка. Не, 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 нитку, не, не, скорее всего, нитка, нитка. Ну, нитка, веревка из Балкана. Это не хорошо. Это не хорошо. Это не хорошо. Это не хорошо. She's going to change her name. Really? Her name. Do you know what name she wants? I'm sorry? Do you know what name? I would like to Name Rada has many names. Okay. In Maharaj, in the devotees, Panama Mantra. And there is another devotee who wants to receive your Panama Mantra. He wants mine. It's me. Mother Christina. Really? Hare Krishna. Thank you. Did they, did Elena do the disciple course? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Disciple course. Uh, disciple course. All tests. Yeah, the test. Yeah, and I, I did it. I did it. Hmm? You did it? Yeah, I did it. Yes, oh. I did. Okay. Они обе имеют постоянное служение здесь при храме. Both of us have regular service in the temple. Wow. Very good. Очень хорошо. Да, Шивиграха знает их обеих. Шивиграха knows us, both of us. Now we're going to move the temple. Теперь мы собираемся переехать. Yes. When? Когда? Two months. Через два месяца. В течение. А, during these two months. И что тебе проблем занимает? Вот мы. In two months. We're going to move. А что-то вы рассказывали? Нет, вообще ничего не рассказывали. Я же не могу вперед совета лезть. Еще, да, у нас очень хорошая новость. There is another good news. Благодаря Эшату Прабу. With the help of Эшат Прабу. И его команде. And his command. Ну, то есть, строится... The new temple is being built now. Ну, точнее, это реально храм. It's a real temple. Сейчас у нас венецкий центр, где мы не можем... So now we've got a Vedic center, but we cannot spend nights there. Да, они не могут, да, там, не могут жить. So, 
Но сейчас, то есть, то, что строится здание, это совершенно другое. То есть, это уже Немного. We are going to rent it. Ишат Прабу купил. Ишат Прабу купил. Очень великое служение. То есть, Махарадж, в следующем году мы вас встретим уже там. Мы в этом году покажем ему, где это находится, все, выберем день, получим попросим благословения. А в следующем, на следующий ваш прилет, то есть мы будем проводить, будем надеяться, что программы будут проходить уже там. До Нового года будут там. Это, наверное, есть уже благословение. Надеюсь, что с Аллахрамом мы получим очень много пользы. Хорошие программы проводить. Now we have Habarask and Vladivostok. They have a center. Habarask and Vladivostok have a center. Sakhalin, no center. Sakhalin, you have Sakhalin? Sakhalin? No center. We don't have a center. We have devotees. We don't have a Благовещен. We have yoga. Yoga center. 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 We have a nice center here in. Очень хорошо, что здесь на Камчатке будет хороший полноценный центр. More people will come. More people will come. More people will come. More people will come. More без молитвы Махараджи за нас не потянем, сразу говорю. Нужно, нужно ваша милость, благословение. Милость всех Вашнавов просим у вас. Пускай помолятся за нас. Always try to be humble. Very important. Krishna can give everything. But we have to take care nicely. That's important. The plane lands according to the schedule. The plane lands at 7:30. At 7:30. In the morning. On the complete day, seven thirty. He will arrive tomorrow at seven thirty, and he will be able to come to the center by nine o'clock. Obviously, he's flying at midnight. He will leave. 
Можно ли утреннюю программу на 9 утра? То есть мы планировали на 7, а вот на 9. It's okay. It's okay with me, but what the fuck? You, you have to work. They have to work. Go to work. Huh? You go to work, Christine? You cannot come. But if we have it seven thirty, you can come. Ah, I'm sorry. Um, I meet uh, the tourists. I I am to go with the Japanese tourists to Avashi. Avashi is okay now, so we start eight o'clock. But at at eight o'clock we start. So I she must be able to come. Еще один вопрос. 15 числа была рама Пурнина. А я спросил. Хари Кришна. Спасибо, Мараш.